Jeff Keenan here. Today we're gonna to talk about a Z-Wave smart home application. I've just installed a Z-Wave water shutoff valve on my water main in the basement. I'm gonna give you guys a shot of that. This is the Dome Z-Wave ball valve actuator. So it'll shut off your water main uh, based on sensor inputs. Um, works like that. Fits over a standard valve, there's no plumbing required. Here's one of the sensors, this is the Fabrio model. The advantage to this one is it can be powered uh, with the internal battery or with the 12 volt supply. I'm gonna try to use these uh, wherever I have an outlet handy. This is the Samsung uh, Z-Wave leak detector. Uh, this one's good to put under your kitchen sink or toilet or somewhere where there's no power available. It's pretty small and I'm gonna show you how it works along with the valve. So I'm gonna turn the water on. We'll put this sensor where it's gonna get wet. And I'm getting a notification from my SmartThings hub that it detected a leak and it's turning the water off. So within a few seconds, the water is completely stopped and uh, your leak and damage is averted. So you can see here are all the devices I've added to my SmartThings hub. I also have the ADT pulse system. I tried adding uh, the leak sensors to it and they weren't detected. So I went with the completely separate hub and I think that's probably the better answer because uh, with the smart things you have more flexibility. Be nice to have it all integrated into the home security system but uh, I think it makes sense to use the smart things Z-Wave hub uh, for this application. I'm gonna put uh, links to all these products we talked about in the video description and uh, leave me some comments. I wanna know what other people think and how you've implemented this.